and now Solid Signal shows you how to do it. Today we'll be installing a Perfect Vision Hotshot dish heater. As you can see in the picture here, the dish heater can go on the front of the dish or it can also be installed on the back of the dish which we're going to show you a little bit later. A dish heater is a perfect accessory if you happen to live where it snows. It's a lot better than going up on the roof and trying to get all the snow off with a broom. Whether you put the dish heater on the front or the back is up to you, but one way or the other, you've got to start with a very clean surface. So take some time and make sure that dish is nice and clean, and then let anything dry before you attempt to install the dish heater itself. The dish heater itself is a giant sticker. Once it goes on, it's very hard to get off. So make sure it's positioned properly. Start by pulling off the center part, which is going to expose both the heating element and the adhesive on top of it. Carefully turn the dish heater upside down and position it so that all of the holes on the dish are still visible. This is very important if you're on the back. Also, the wire coming out from it should be toward the bottom of the dish. Once you've got the dish heater positioned, carefully, gently, start pressing down the center of the dish heater to get that adhesive on nice and tight. Work out any wrinkles very slowly with your hands. Now take the paper backing off one of the outer parts of the dish heater and apply it also. If you get yourself into a little bit of trouble smoothing it out, don't worry, just use a little bit of patience. It is really important that all of the wrinkles be smoothed out and it's got to be done the first time right. You can't really pull it back up as you can see. But give it a little time, give it a little patience, and everything should work out just fine. When one of the outside pieces is done, move on to another one, and another one, and another one. And sooner or later you'll have the entire dish heater finished. You'll see here that the dish mount fits perfectly on the back of the dish because you didn't cover up any of the holes, you positioned everything properly. This is what the dish heater looks like installed. The wire part is at the bottom and that will connect into the heater's power supply inside. The only thing left to do is connect the other end of the wire to the power supply. The power supply should always be on a surge protected outlet with its own breaker and never, ever put the power supply outside. It is not weatherproof. Connect the wires with any screwdriver and you're basically all set. It's okay to leave the power supply on year-round because there's a sensor that only turns it on when it absolutely needs it. Couldn't be any easier than that. As long as you take it slowly and carefully, installing a dish heater is easy to do and it's going to make it easier for you to watch television year-round. It's a worthwhile investment. And more importantly, now you know how to do it.